We're the Salas family, and we're on a round the world trip with our two kids. We just spent four months in North and South America. We're currently in Asia, transitioning from China to Japan. Hey, last moments in Beijing. We are now at the Dongjimen station and going to try and take the train to the airport. Hopefully we can figure it out since our Chinese is still minimal. is where we're at based on the awesome decor. What country are we in? Japan. We ended up having what felt like a really long travel day. The jet lag is really starting to hit us at this point and by the time we make it to our neighborhood let's just say things are starting to fall apart. We made it to Japan! <laughs> I must admit, I'm really feeling the jet lag from the last few days. Slowly making our way across the globe, I could literally pass out. Yeah, I felt like I finally, or like I all of a sudden fell asleep on the plane, and then no, so no sooner did I fall asleep than uh, one of the airline attendants come by and tap me on the shoulder to tell me to, to put up my tray, which happened to be down. <laughs> but I might have gotten a couple of minutes of sleep. So it was 7 Beijing time, now it's 8 Osaka time. Which means I can go to bed at a respectable bedtime, but it still feels like dinner time, which is exactly when I want to go to bed. But we have some customs and a 45 minute train ride between me and my bed, assuming we have no problems with Airbnb check-in, because that never happens. We're having a rough day. We're having a rough night. Our apartment was kind of on the small side, but it did have some really nice features like a Japanese soaking tub, this by American standards a really high tech bidet, and of course, house slippers. Now we had been to Tokyo before, but we wanted to see a new part of the country, so we decided to base ourselves in Japan's second city, Osaka. Osaka is such a vibrant and exciting city, so we were super excited to just get out and walk around. There is a ton to see there, and for example, there are arcades, which for me, as an old school gamer, I definitely wanted to check out some of those multi-level arcades that are all over the place. In addition to that, there is food abound, and I mean good food. There's street food, we both love street carts. There are restaurants with beautiful displays to kind of draw you in, and then even the convenience stores have excellent food in them as well. Lawson's, look it up. Osaka is a very dense city, so we basically just set out a new direction from our apartment every day we were there.
taking a short walk over to the Sinsekai neighborhood. I'm not sure if I said that right, but I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Um, to where the famous Osaka Tower is and it looks like lots of other colorful stuff. So we're looking forward to exploring another neighborhood on foot. I'm pretty sure the motto of this trip is so much food, so little stomach space. So I'm about to go into this classic arcade and it has all kinds of awesome arcade games from, from the past. And so let's, let's, let's take a look. They all seem to be in great working condition. Up is the park. We let the little man down. The manholes are so pretty here. Cheese! Cheese! We happen to be in Osaka during the festival period called Toka Ibisu. This is a five day period at the beginning of the year to welcome in business success and good fortune. How was your uh, mixed drink, Martin? Mm, it's good. I'll have six more. I wanted to do something fun with my daughter, so I thought what better thing to do than to go out and explore some of these awesome arcades I had read about. So in the US, typically you have like, you know, one level of games and then that's it. Well, in Japan, like so many other things, it is some next level thing. So. There are multi-levels, and there might even be a single level dedicated entirely to claw machines. The next level is your standard arcade games, and then more immersive games, and then like maybe a whole level with all kinds of like, uh, you know, old school like Street Fighter and stuff like that. <laughs> I love video games. it. How's it look? Good grip? Uh, On the way back to our apartment, we ended up seeing uh, Toys R Us, which at least where we're from in the U.S., we thought all the stores were closed. So when we saw it, we knew we had to go in and check it out. As it turns out, Toys R Us is not dead. If you want to go to Toys R Us, apparently all you have to do is come to Japan in Osaka. What do you think, Nana? Should we go in? Yes. I'm a Toys R Us kid, and I want a girl. Because I love toys, and I love Toys R Us.
Now I also wanted to have a little date with Sienna, except ours was focused more around food. We tried the famous Osaka octopus balls that look like they're alive, and then we had a whole bunch of desserts. <laughs> Aside from the arcades and all of the great food, and there is really great food and there are great <laughs> arcades, one of my favorite moments was when we brought the kids to a local park and without having to exchange a single understood word, I witnessed just unbridled joy and endless laughter between all of the kids. And I think, again, it was just one of those beautiful moments where you, know, you see that kids don't have to have a language, that they don't need any introduction because the language was play and the language was laughter. time in Osaka we're gonna take the train over to Kyoto so we can see the famous Tori gates. We'll see you there.